In this video, I'm going to be showing you Unstructured IO, which is both an open source project as well as a platform that provides tools for simplifying and streamlining the pre-processing of both structured and unstructured documents for your LLM applications. So what Unstructured IO allows you to do is essentially take in all these different file formats that you see on screen here. And what it will do is it will go ahead and parse those into a JSON format. Then from that JSON format, you can take that, you can send it directly within your LLM potentially on how your application set up, or you can, what I think a lot of people will likely do with it, is put it within a vector database. And the nice thing with how it's structured is the uh, structure that you get back from whatever you send in there is considerably more structured and coherent than just doing something like arbitrarily breaking them by, uh, you know, like a thousand characters or a couple hundred characters, like all these different things that are floating around. So what this will do is it will recognize things like tables of say it's HTML, it's going to see that there's a table there, know that it's a table, or if there's a list, know that it's a list, if there's titles, et cetera, and so on. So it's nice with this is it will give you that coherent structured uh, piece of data that you can chunk and put into your vector database, but you can also uh, leverage all the metadata that is generated from this, which I'll touch on in just a, a moment. So in terms of the actual project itself, so there is a GitHub repository which you can pull down. There are a number of ways that you can run this locally on your machine. So you can pull down the Docker container and get it set up that way, or you can go ahead and run through the installation steps uh, for the Python uh, approach. Now, you can also go ahead, and I would actually encourage you to really check out this unstructured API GUI, especially if you haven't used this tool before. So I'm going to be running through an example with this just at the end of the video here. Now, the other thing to note with this is if you are an AWS uh, user, there is a template where you can go ahead and deploy this right onto an EC2 instance uh, if you like. So uh, as someone who uses AWS, it's really nice to see that there is something like this that you can just go ahead and off the shelf play around with and have something that's sort of production ready potentially. And uh, without uh, forgetting this is there is also an implementation within Langchain. So the unstructured file loader as well as the directory loader. And I think there's likely other uh, implementations as well from the time of this blog post because it is a little bit dated at this point. But uh, needless to say, there's a number of different um, approaches that you can use within Langchain to leverage unstructured under the hood. So to get into the example here, so you're able to, with Unstructured, use their free tier for prototyping. So this GUI is great for that. So you can go ahead to unstructured.io slash get API key like you see here, plug in your API key, and then you can just get off the ground running. So I'll just go ahead and upload a relatively long document here. So this is a regulatory filing from Apple. So this is straight from their SEC filings and it's a relatively big document. And the thing that's nice with this is for a document like this, if I was to parse this myself, I would run into a ton of different things that I'd have to handle. So I'd have to take that document and uh, maybe the first pass, it would just be breaking up the characters into chunks that I would put into my vector database. This, it's really just taking it and giving that structure without really having to do much. All I did was put in that file. And if we look over here, what it's doing is it's doing a ton of really helpful things. So it's giving me metadata, it's recognizing the language of that particular chunk of text. It's indicating the type of text that it is. So if it's a title, it's recognizing that this is a form 10K, which is a title. Uh, if there's a, a body of text, it's gonna say that it's narrative text. Uh, if there's lists, it's going to uh, specify that and so on and so forth. So it's really nice because it gives you these nice little chunks where 
if you can imagine, if you're trying to get the top results of a vector search, uh, this is going to give you much more uh, coherent search results than say if you're just uh, running through and breaking it after every 200 characters or 500 characters or something where it might just end right in the middle of a, a sentence that's relatively important. So if an LLM is being passed this chunk of information, it's going to be arguably more uh, useful than say if it just broke somewhere in the middle and it just gave you that result, right? So I'm going to be diving into this a little bit more in future videos and actually building it into an application. I'm thinking potentially a, a Next.js Langchain application where it can show you how you can actually potentially use this in something that's a bit more closer to maybe a, a production use case. But Overall, I just wanted to really encourage you to check out this unstructured IO project because it's incredibly powerful what they're doing. And I think it's a really important area within the LLM and AI space that they're looking to solve. So that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.